America. Recently, ABC did a 2020 special on Islam. It was titled, Islam Questions and Answers, with Diane Sawyer. Sadly, they follow the standard media approach when discussing Islam. How do you find out if Islam is a religion of peace? Do you conduct a careful study of the Islamic sources in their historical context, along with background information provided by Muhammad's companions and the greatest Muslim commentators? No, you walk up to a few westernized Muslims and ask them if Islam is a religion of violence. And when they say no, case closed. Islam is peaceful. Now, I have no objections to getting the opinions of westernized Muslims. Their views are important. But I would say that if you're going to do that, you should call your program Westernized Muslims Questions and Answers, or What Do Muslims in America Believe? Something like that. So your viewers know that what they're getting are the opinions of particular Muslims, not the official doctrines of Orthodox Islam. Sorry, ABC, but the opinions of Westernized Muslims have never been and never will be an authoritative source of Islamic doctrine. It's no secret that ABC was bending over backwards to portray Islam as a religion of peace, but they were so desperate, they got sloppy. In fact, they got so sloppy, they actually promoted the radical group Revolution Muslim as America's protectors. I kid you not. Watch this clip and tell me what you see. A million Muslims marching through the streets of Washington is a great idea. Why not? Show us that this faith is peaceful. Show us that it's not out in any way to get us in the streets of our own cities. And reminding us that all the peaceful American Muslims are part of America's first line of defense. So these Muslims are part of America's first line of defense. ABC is referring, of course, to America's first line of defense against terrorist attacks. ABC showed us a few examples of the moderate Muslims who are going to protect America from terrorists. Did you see this guy in the clip? This is my friend Sadiq Abdul Malik. Sadiq and I both live in the Bronx, that's how I know him. We had a debate once. I'm concerned about some of his views, but otherwise he's a nice guy. Now, just imagine you're walking down the street one day and you see my friend Sadiq and you say, Hey, it's America's first line of defense. That's what ABC told us. Let's listen to his message, because he's one of the peaceful, America-loving Muslims we've been hearing so much about on TV. What would you hear as you listen to Sadiq's message? Let's look at a video of Sadiq preaching in Times Square. So the United States does not operate on rights for you or for me as a Puerto Rican and a black man or as a person of color, but seeks to dominate us in order for them to fulfill their agenda of dominating the earth. And Christianity, and I'm going to say it now, Christianity plays part and parcel in that. Wait a moment. Isn't this a video of a revolution Muslim demonstration in Times Square? Isn't Revolution Muslim a group that supports the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, and Osama bin Laden? Isn't this the group that rose to fame by threatening South Park creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone? What's a peaceful, America-loving Muslim doing with a group of radicals? We ask you to allow and have this government to pull its soldiers out of Muslim lands, to stop the support of Israel. The sign they had presents President Barack Obama as a Nazi leading an axis of evil. Notice the Jewish flag with a swastika inside the Star of David. I wonder what Sadiq thinks about President Obama. Barack Obama is the greatest danger to the Muslim that the Muslim has ever known. Interesting. Let's learn a bit more about our friend Sadiq. Sadiq, who's responsible for 9-11? Was it Muslims? That was perpetrated by the United States government. The Mossad in Israel perpetrated the act of 9-11. But why would the United States kill its own people? 9-11 was perpetrated by who? By the United States of America to do what? To take control of a region of, of oil, a region of resources, so that they control it so the rich get richer. BP ain't nothing. Surely the U.S. government doesn't go around killing respected American citizens, does it, Sadiq? Who killed Robert Kennedy and Martin Luther King? Right. Who? The United States of America as a government under the government that perpetrated these acts in order to get the United States into war so that the elite of the United States, the corporate elite, and the military elite can rise to power and make money. But Sadiq, you don't think that the United States government is out to kill Puerto Ricans and African Americans, do you? When you go to the schools, you see that every single one of the recruiting stations, the recruiting offices, 
go to schools in the inner cities. Boys High, Thomas Jefferson, Clinton, into the inner city, Stuyvesant. But the recruiters don't go into the rich neighborhood to ask rich kids to get into the army to serve the United States of America. But they serve, you see, black man, Puerto Rican and Dominican, if they can't kill you in the streets, they'll send you to a rock and die over there. Now, Sadiq, since you're a peaceful westernized Muslim, surely you believe that people are fine following Christianity, right? How are you going to be free and achieve greatness if you follow the religion of the people that enslaved you in the first place? How are you going to follow their doctrine? How are you going to follow their teaching that's designed to destroy you? How can you be free and ascend to greatness following a religion that's designed to destroy you? It says turn the other cheek. Sadiq, people like me are still worried about the fact that Revolution Muslim threatened cartoonists. Tell us, what do you think about freedom of speech? Would you agree that I have the right to openly criticize Muhammad? You do not have the right to, re to disrespect 1.6 billion Muslims on the face of the earth by disrespecting the Prophet Muhammad ibn Abdullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You don't think that America is at war with Islam, do you, Sadiq? Islam is being attacked by the United States of America. I can probably guess, but I'll ask anyway. What do you think about Israel, Sadiq? The whole world is in a state of abject tension and war. Why? Because the United States of America has established a base in the Middle East. That base is called Israel. So this is our first line of defense against radical Islam, right, ABC? Last year, I was on a television show discussing the Fort Hood Massacre, and Sadiq called in to defend the actions of Major Nadal Malik Hassan. Here's a sample of that discussion. And I believe that according to Islam, uh, Major Hassan was, was doing exactly what, what, what he's supposed to do. What I'm saying is, do you agree that military targets like Fort Hood are, uh, are, are, are justified to he attack in that. Islam if there is some sort of war going on? Do he you agree? Well, you know, th that makes every kind of logical sense to the yeah, world. Yeah. Don't you agree? Okay, when so the you United agree States with that. of okay. America found that it was threatening Vietnam, when the when, when United States found that it was threatened so yes. in Vietnam, it attacked Laos and expanded the war into Laos and Cambodia because it felt that its soldiers were being threatened in Vietnam oh, okay. by, by stuff coming in from Cambodia and Laos. So when, when, when yes, if you, you, of course, yes, okay. who else can I, if I can't shoot a soldier, a mm. combatant is killing me and getting ready to send soldiers to kill my people, mm. then who the hell can I kill? Okay. Yes. A little later in the program, Sadiq said he was willing to be treacherous and seditious against exploitation. You can judge for yourself whether Sadiq believes that the U.S. government is guilty of exploitation. You're saying then that a Muslim in America, his first and foremost loyalty, which supersedes all other loyalties, is to Islam and to the Ummah, to the point that you would be willing to be traitorous and seditious against the United States government of which you are a citizen. Is that what you're saying? I am saying that I will be treacherous and seditious against exploitation. Against, against the United States of America, which you said is exploited. So there you have it. ABC is now promoting Revolution Muslim as America's first line of defense against radical Islam. The people who will protect us from Al-Qaeda and the Taliban are, according to ABC, people who support Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. The people who will protect us from future terrorist attacks are people who defend the Fort Hood Massacre. My friends, this video isn't about Sadiq Abdul Malik. Again, apart from some of Sadiq's views, I like Sadiq. I have some major disagreements with his beliefs, but we'll settle those in public debate. This video is about ABC. Have the people at ABC lost their minds? If they think that Revolution Muslim is going to side with America against Al Qaeda, ABC has gone beyond Fantasyland. They've left planet reality altogether and are now drifting through some bizarro dimension, some opposite world where up is down and down is up, where left is right and right is left, where radical Muslims protect the great Satan from radical Islam. Now, if ABC got things so horribly wrong when it comes to our first line of defense, what else did they get wrong in their program on Islam? Stay tuned, my friends. We're going to need a whole series of videos to clean up ABC's mess on this one. Have we gotten in the United States to such a point that we think that we can kill 
that we can bomb, that we can maim, and not have people have the right to fight back? Think. Have we gotten to the point where we love war so much that we have the right to kill and not be killed? And reminding us that all the peaceful American Muslims are part of America's first line of defense. Thank you.